Ah, yes, it's night, so that means monsters everywhere and uh, phantoms. Welcome back to Beta Complex. This is R Craft with your host, Com Reed. Joining me tonight, uh, as always, is the host of our server, Dream Thief. Hello. And tonight we have Obscure Reference. Hi. I did update my skin, by the way. Hopefully, Jub Jub will be, be, be here sooner or later. Uh, he took uh, about 30 minutes to get in last week. Probably? I don't know. Do I look like someone who remembers? Not at all. Unfortunately, with all the phantoms over me, I'm just kind of hiding until... Because it's not a thunderstorm, we can't sleep in the rain, so I'm just kind of hiding okay. until we can. Well, I mean, I think I'll just spawn... Oh, wait, no, you said you did sleep. All right. I hear them, or that's just a noise. Well, my bow may not be as powerful as it is in the other game. By the way, speaking of that, are, is the uh, uh, so uh, for context chat, if there is any of you listening, uh, this is a different server, not this one. Uh, are we still planning on doing the uh, mansion raid tomorrow? We can. Okay. I'll be our first ever mansion raid. I might, I might go ahead and uh, record it, uh, but it'll have to be like a special episode sometime. Not like uh, scheduled. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. <laughs> right. But I think it's all four of us uh, first mansion raid. Yes. Should be. Well, if you've never done it, then yeah, it's all four of us have never done a mansion raid, so I'll probably record it for at least posterity. I wish the rain didn't just last and last and last and last. Well, I mean, you would think it's been could... raining since the sun came up. quite frustrating. You would think that it's a lot of cod I could feed cats. By the way, um, apparently you only need um, that's a salmon. Um, apparently you only need um, four villagers to spawn a cat. Yes. That is helpful. Are you trapping villagers already? I have one. Nice. nice. That was last week. <laughs> What job do you give them? Uh, librarian. And admittedly, this was before I realized, oh, I can just break the lectern to get new drops. Uh, so they aren't mending. However, uh, it does have the setup for near-infinite emeralds. Or at least near-infinite trade. Mm hmm. I have a and... chasing me. All right. I will say, uh, I'll get out. if any of you see any zombie villagers at all, trap them underground and stay nearby until I can, um, come over and heal them. Because as soon as we get two, uh, two villagers, uh, we have a village. Because I have, because I have learned how to get them to do my bidding. So it works. I mean, I'm moving pretty far away from here. Have you learned how to trap them or something? Or guide them? Uh, no. I've learned how to breed them, and trapping them was never the hard part. It's called you stick them in a boat, and keep moving. Ta-da, you've done it. And you're moving it's already? A, it's such a dreary rain, it reminds me of Animal Crossing. 
on the DS. You woke up to her. It just rained all day. If you woke up on a rainy day, potentially never stopped. No, you'd think that this is a ravine. You'd think I could find something interesting. I don't think it. Well, I've but you and I have both been exploring slash clearing it for several weeks now. So yeah, it's at not any wonder. I think at least there's redstone. I can at least use that. Yes, I think we have some up here, going. No, oh, there's only thirty redstone. Oh, here we go. There's some more. I mean, it's not that I do not have other redstone. I do. I'm like super out of iron. Yeah, iron is pretty pretty low uh, item. I think I'm think I'm carrying around a stone sword and a stone axe right now. So I mean, soon to also be a stone shovel and a stone pickaxe. The I way things are going. I had a milkshake and a coffee. Uh, of course. Coffee. I have water. Um. Lava machines. And, uh, of course, I quickly discovered how big of a mistake it was to have both. Ooh. Coffee and a milkshake? Coffee and a milkshake. Because. The coffee tastes great, but it tastes extremely bitter after drinking the milkshake. Yes. Um, but coffee this week is a house blend, like my own personal blend, of Sumatran beans and the Costa Rican beans. There we go. What? <laughs> okay, well, I did find some air, so that's good news. At least six. Uh, Twelve. It's raining Sorry. outside, but I'm burning bricks inside. Oh, are you making another house elsewhere? I mean, you said you were moving, but... Yes. I am moving... Likely never to be found again. You're with those wretched noises. No, I'll be findable. Especially since Comrade wanted the uh, coordinates of the Mushroom Owl. Oh, are you moving over there? You're moving over to the Mushroom Island? Yeah, because then they won't spawn on the island. Uh, yeah, so, so to chat, um, I didn't realize that uh, Dream Thief had found a Mushroom Island last week. Which is why... I'd Nobody freaked out about that. <laughs> I mean, I remembered. I just didn't care. Um, but that is that is the number one goal for today's stream. What? At least for myself, is to get a boot room over here. Uh, yes. I didn't see any moose rooms, but I was there at night. It's still raining, and the sun is going down. We can sleep tonight, right? Yes. Yes. I will say. I can. Well, I actually, I'm not in any. I'm not anywhere. To, I'm not in any position. I'm in the mine, but I can probably fix that. Moving right along, getting very much needed iron before I eventually accidentally kill myself in lava again and lose all of my stuff because that's what happens. Do, 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 do. Oh wait, that song's probably copyrighted. Oh well, I was singing it. I don't think they can DMCA us for that. I mean, they could. They can try. Well, you were off tune and parody. I also have no idea what you Making were singing. It into a parody. That's a good point. Uh, I can't sing. Thanks for reminding me. It's like, it's okay. They'll never be able to tell. <laughs> Sue us anyway. Oh, some people would do that. Just saying. Okay. Uh, I... Oh! Uh, give me a second. I can get some wood. And set up a thing. 
Wood. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah. So I can make a bed because I have wool in my inventory so you can mm -hmm. sleep. Just need to get two more. For my drink tonight, at least for the start, I have filtered Southern West Virginia, Oakville, PSD, uh, water. So it's only 50% left. From my Brita pitcher. That's nice. So I'll only... be honest, if I thought about it long and hard enough, I would probably have a second pitcher and I would probably filter it twice. <laughs> okay. I'm just going to uh, build a giant still looking thing, but all it really does is not only distill the water through the steaming process, but it runs it through oh, two Brita filters. Night. It is night. Okay. Yeah, are you in the nether? No. But I will no. be going to bed. All right. I'm not rushing you guys to it immediately. It's just I don't have anything else I can do until. Yeah, no, that's fair. I'm just. But my bricks are still currently baking in the oven. Yeah, I'm just in the mines. All right, uh, is it day? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So what's extra hilarious is that you were so unenthusiastic about the mushroom island. I didn't even write the coordinates down. I have to go write them down now. I was so sad. I was like, well, this is supposed to be a huge discovery on a map, but I guess it doesn't actually matter. No, it, it really matters. It just didn't register what you'd said. It made me so sad. Did I pick up my crafting table? Why didn't I pick up my crafting table? Uh, so where, where are you right now? I'm currently picking up uh, some food out of the garden so I can plant some stuff over yonder. Because I also have a really prosperous village over there that I'm going to work on. Do you need a boat to travel with you? Oh, yeah. Well, I thought you you can... You can far. Yeah, but it's oh. across the water. That's fine. There's a librarian wandering around here by himself. Oh, it's a music disc. Fun. Get, 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 get home life. Oh, there's a librarian? Your librarian is just out here by himself. Uh, I can't do anything about it, but... As I don't I can kill him for you. Don't do that. How did he get out? The he could just gonna open doors. Oh, door. okay. Huh. As I get myself hopelessly lost. What got does it. it sell? Uh bookshelves and he buys librarian and he buys books huh. and I don't entirely remember what else. Okay, he uh, has blast protection and he'll sell you a clock. For one emerald. The main thing is he'll take he'll buy books for an emerald, which oh. that's a pretty decent deal there. <laughs> yeah, that Only is. Only fishermen the... are better than you. All right, I'm at the sugar cane right now. If you're, which is kind of the launch off point here. Uh, yeah, give me just a moment to make myself. Okay. Better. I'm going to break some of the tops of this cane off to take with me Never anyway. Mind. I don't have to make a boat. There's already a boat. And I've oh, got 35 here. bread, so... Uh... Can Lucy, it's please? just the neighbor's cars. You're such a sad puppy. Well, there is a sea temple out here, too, which uh, you didn't seem very happy about either. A sea temple? There's one that close to spawn? So we got Hello? two sea temples already found. Oh, well, you may already have it then. Oh, I accidentally took the shears with me. Oops. Oh, no, this is a different temple. Okay, the coordinate. I was looking at the coordinates list and thought I'd written that down from over here. I lied. There isn't another one. Okay, so we only know about the one, which is the one I found. Less. I do have two treasure maps to work with here as well, though. Oh. I, ra uh, I raided the ships out this way. Two treasure maps would be very nice. I don't need this andesite. How'd you get so far Where? ahead of me? Where are you? I'm okay. Well, yeah, I'm not moving. You know what's better than one treasure map? Two treasure Seven. maps. 
I have to. Mm. I didn't finish talking about my coffee. So I've got a house blend of uh, the Costa Rican bean. And uh, we should probably also mention we are now joined by Jub Jub. That, that was Jub Jub joining. Uh, He's in the burb. Burb is the word. I figured we'd start the back bad jokes as soon as possible. Next, As I go actually. through. Also, is that a temple? <laughs> Where? Right over here. I think you're just seeing the underwater part of the iceberg, friend. I think you're having a mirage moment. No, no, it's just a cave. That's a pretty cool looking underwater cave. Mm hmm. What happened? Um, crafting table. I need a furnace. I'm not sure I can start smelting uh, this ore. I, I see like mushrooms. I don't like hmm? to get uh, too Bruh. far away from me. Okay, three three zero eight. Minus two nine nine. Oh, I see it. Okay. I just well, there are in there. fact four mushrooms here, but I do not have any shears on me or iron. I have solved my iron. Shears. I have solved my iron. Isn't that how you get the no soup out of them? No, no, you just melt them. With you shear them, they become just normal cows. Oh, but they'll turn back into mushrooms eventually, right? No. Oh, what I there? actually forgot was a uh, was a lasso. Um, you can't take my cows from me. These are mine. Still spawn. You can use a boat. Just because more will spawn. There's even a cave on this little island. Well, yeah, I could use a boat, but I still need to lasso the bo uh, boat. This is my island in the sun. Okay. Um, oh, back to the coffee. While I go back to get some... I won't need torches anymore. A lasso and an extra boat. So, uh... Coffee is a house blend of the Costa Rican beans that I have before mentioned. And the uh, Sumatran bean. And then, um, to make everything a little bit more wintry, I added some cinnamon to the, the beans as I brewed it. Um, so it has a nice uh, cinnamony aroma. No wonder I'm not fighting diamonds. I'm only at level and 32. I I should be able to grow mushrooms above ground and, on my uh, cinnamon, right? Time to whip some cream. Uh, I probably. Also couldn't buy whipped cream for some reason. There was just not um, in the store. I am ninety percent sure that my cinnamon allows you to grow mushrooms above ground in broad daylight. I mean, I think so. Do this talk this soon until into my broadcast. Dogs are dogs, man. Sometimes they're just not going to listen to you. You can't plant wildflowers in mycenaeum, though. Oh. Okay, that I should probably. Surprising. Okay, so I actually need my chest from the other place. I need my chest from the village. that I Because I need other stuff. My pockets are full. I have, like, no cobble. Because I'm not sure at my name. Gobble, gobble. Yeah, that's what I don't have. Gobble, gobble, I... gobble, 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 gobble. So I'm going to get yeah. back to uh, our initial base of operations. And go take this dog out. Yeah, yeah. It's quite the row, isn't it? Have fun. It won't be bad once I get another portal established over here, though. Yeah. We got to go find it in another... Yeah, but it's gonna be way closer than that. I'm gonna establish another. I'm gonna establish another portal at the village because it's far enough away as well. Yeah. 
I, I believe it's 17 chunk radius, so as long as it's more than 17 chunks, it's fine. I don't know how to do the math, but one was at 3,000 something, and the village is at 37 something. Yeah, we're good. Maybe 38 something. Yeah, we're good. Ooh, so I have an this. idea. I wonder if it'll work. It won't. I'm gonna put another portal underwater. Yeah, that'll I mean, work. you can, but like... It might be a bit tricky, because you'll have to... How are uh, you gonna light it? <laughs> it? It's possible. It might be a bit gimmicky, but it's Magic. not hard. I think I'm lost. I mean, the I'm new... The new Minecraft any percent route, which was developed not too long ago, actually, now that I think about it, involves using boats and the lava found underneath magma blocks in ravines in order to create the portal. So it necessitates you lighting the portal underwater. Interesting. Found some gold. Actually, looking. I know gold. lots of things that is useful to no one. Me too. It's no, surprising. I wasn't saying that your information was useless. I was saying that. Hey, where is? Uh, no, I was saying my plan was because I'm lost. Uh, two, three, nine, two, twenty. Problem is, we are a little bit off from spawn, and I don't have the main farm base there. I've written down. No, oh, that's fine, because I went out to the village at like 3,000. Oh. Uh, see if you can kidnap a villager for me. Oof. Well, I can't, because I don't even have a lasso. All, all you need is a boat. All the villainy. We have but all I the villainy. I don't have a present. lasso to carry the boat with. What? You don't use a lasso. Boats go on land. Slowly, but they do. Can it take two passengers? Yes. Listen, I'm already planning on kidnapping some villagers and bringing them from one of the closer villages. Okay. I mean, if you want to do that, that's fine. I just thought I mean, I does a rolling stone time. gather no moss? Uh, also, it is I mean, night, so like, I don't think I could... I don't think the villager would be kidnappable at the moment anyway. Anything is kidnappable. Wake it up. Anything is, is kidnappable, comrade. This isn't like hard stuff. Especially right. villagers. If I can figure it out, you can. Easy to kidnap. Yeah, you like just stick. You just. All right. What was the what's the what's the coordinates again? Spawn, 2392, space, 20. Oh, cool. Oh, cool. I'm salt. Okay, well, I'm... Now that I have a stack of iron, I think it is worth it to break out of this place. There are no trees on my island. I need to go cut some trees down. Okay. Hey, look! Acacia wood! That'll look good on mycenium. Oh, uh, get me a... Get me a sapling, please. I need it. Maybe, if you yeah. ask nicely, I said that man will do for you. I said okay, please, Batman can nicely. be quiet. Does Batman, Batman understand? You don't no. know Batman what to do. I... What? You don't get to tell Batman what to do. Yes, I do. Who do you think you are? Alfred. Uh... I mean, he does tell Batman what to do an awful lot. He also cleans my Bentley. Your what? Bentley. It's better than a Rolls. I... I mean, you're wrong, but you're entitled to that wrong opinion. Was that an abandoned underwater <laughs> nether gate? No, it might just be sea cucumbers lighting stuff up. Nope. That? That's that is crying obsidian right there. 
Oh, I love that. Oh, I yeah. I wish I had a diamond pickaxe right now so no! I could mine. No! No! There's two. There's two abandoned nether damaged nether gates by themselves in the middle of the ocean right next to each other. <laughs> Fantastic. I must. Ah! Oh, what's hitting me? There's no way fan. What? What is going? Oh, oh, oh. Okay, 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 okay. Please, 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 please. No! I don't have a spawn set. I just want this. Crud. Uh, I mean, I can probably get words, back there. You go. I picked right. up my pen to write them down, and the drowned killed me from below. That's In the right. immortal words of Zuko, that's rough, buddy. Oh, right. I did want to test that. Do I have redstone on me? Oh, I did have a spawn set. How is this where my spawn is? Okay. Well, okay. Well, when the phantoms come, it will not be due to me. I need wood. Time to punch a tree. Piston. How do I make one of these? I can't I believe I've been I'm back to being reduced to tree punching. That's sad. Get, get oh. off of the flippin' move, horse. Horses horse. are fun. I'm going to hurt you. That's fair. Hey, what did one horse say to the other horse? Why the long face? I'm going to hurt you. Uh, that's nice. What I grew did up one horse say to the it's, other horse? It's definitely I'm going to hurt you. Or break the fence. That's... What did one horse say to the other horse? Welcome to the dark side. Nothing. Horses don't talk. I am in shock. <coughs> I was, uh... We have been tricked, we have been duped, and quite possibly even bamboozled. A slime! Hi, buddy. I'm sorry, but you have to die now. Why are you sorry about that? Slimes out of all the mobs are relatively cute. Anyway. I'm gonna die. And it really is unfortunate. I, um, I just lost Truly. a lot of equipment. Did you also die? I just lost I a piece did. of my I soul. I did die. Me I too. don't know if you saw how I died. Said you suffocated in a wall or something. I did suffocate in a wall. How do I... If you'll excuse me for a moment, <laughs> I need to get my coffee. Let's see if he was pretentious about introducing it or not. <laughs> not saying somebody here might be no, such no, a thing. No, no, of course not. Of course oh, not. my gosh. Fine. We'll do it that way then, shall we? I just want to... Test something. I'm so upset right now. To be back to a, a wooden kit. That's just not okay. Oh, so the Anarchy server I joined. That was brought up in like uh, episode one. Why did you join an Anarchy server again? Just to join an Anarchy server. See if. See if I could join an anarchy server and also make it past one. I mean, did you join the anarchy server it is to be cooking? It is a clone and bedrock of 2v2. Well, it's not 2v2t if it's a clone. It's Listen, everything is a clone of 2v2t when it comes to the anarchy thing. I hear spiders, and that makes me annoyed. But no, but I didn't I join do the actual 2v2t. Uh, because that's a drop level server. It's also really toxic and utterly devoid of life. Oh, it has so many players on, though. Yes. And I'm convinced 70% of them are baritone bots. Baritone boss. Uh, so there's a thing that's been happening with 2B where some guy, 
All right, it's just just some guy, right? Decided Minecraft AI, and then yeah, did that. Yeah. Hmm. They they created a Minecraft AI that is able to, you know, go out, get equipment, get gear, all automatically. And then they taught it how to fight. Oh. So now <laughs> there's just there is a program that you can get. It requires a pretty uh, rough PC in order to get it to work, but it's a machine learning Minecraft PvP bot. Called Baritone? <clears throat> no, Baritone is a pathfinding program that was used in the early stages of training. Uh, so it's, it's very simple, and it runs on pretty much all hacked clients nowadays. I see. Baritone essentially just lets you put in some coordinates, and it will automatically run there in the shortest method possible. Oh. Ah. And you can turn on the ability for it to place blocks and destroy blocks and use waterfalls to climb up and stuff like that. I it's see. a very sophisticated program, but it's nothing compared to the PvP bot. Get an iron. So much iron. Well, my iron problem Well, I'm solved. glad somebody has iron. Yeah. I have I wood. I delved. I mean, there's this mine shaft that I in the mine, like the mine's connected to your house, and I delved deeper. Was it a mistake? Probably. Am I going to see it through? Kind of have to at this point. Uh, speaking of which, I need some wood. Did I really go the wrong up. direction here? What? What direction are you going? I think I went the wrong direction to get to the village. Which so now I get to make the big loop around. Always fun. Oh, oh, no one pays attention to my You're what? <laughs> brilliant joke. Somebody's telling lies. Uh, Probably. Yeah, Comrade's telling lies because he thinks his jokes are funny. <laughs> big old, big old fibs. Also, does anybody need That's string? That's probably true, but you gotta do a, you gotta do a brother like that. I think that my boat that I was out here with is gone. Oh no, there it is. Okay. Does and anybody need string? Because I have, I have uh, a stack of it, and I am more than willing to share because it's string, and I can get more. Um, oh, okay. Yes, I will likely will be wanting a string in the not too distant future in order to well no. get the moose shrooms. Oh, okay. Yeah, yes, since I shall have many visitors. You know, all alone. Also, how many name tags do we get? I have there are a few. But like maybe the librarian will sell them as well, so uh, we'll have a few. Well, we can get them for decently cheap by the end of it. Okay. In terms of emeralds, at least. What is that other? Well, I'll get that boat later. Oh. I got out uh, of it in time, but it got sucked down by the. Uh... Mag magma cube that it, I was floating over top of. That's unfortunate. Why were you floating over a magma cube? I didn't realize I was until I'd stopped moving. Oh, 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 not the... Gotcha, gotcha. Because I had to go back to the nether portals to pick up all my stuff where it had 
where I got killed. Four one four six dash six nine dash six forty. Wait, are we talking about the Nether monster or like the? Talking about the magma block. Gotcha. Okay. Actually, uh, so quick question: If you make a boat out of um the Nether wood, uh, will you will the you boat can't make uh a boat out of the Nether wood? You can't. Nope. That's unfortunate. No, the pictures of those are mods. Oh, Photoshop. I didn't know if there were. I didn't know if there were pictures or not. I didn't even know. I was just asking because I was like, because I was legitimately curious. Oh, that's neat. I found a little underground thing. I wonder if I can find diamonds underneath in this thing. That or I'm going to find something neat. You would think. All I found is iron and Did spider you spawners. You're going to find diamonds in the ground. Well, I'm only at na I'm only at a twenty-five. Well, then you're not so probably any not. Diamonds don't spawn until they don't level spawn fifteen. Sixteen. He might come across an abandoned mine shaft, which has well, a diamond I'm, in a chest. I'm in an abandoned mine shaft. Well, then your only hope is to find it in a chest. Well, I'm also looking for those. But mostly, I came down here for iron, in which I've been very successful. Speaking of chests, I found one. I can tell I'm still in the Mesa biome. Ooh, two diamonds. Because I have more gold ore in my pockets than cobblestone. Oh, uh, okay. I'm sorry, that Salmon. That is not true. <laughs> um, but wouldn't I it be funny if it was? Though? Upon a star. I mean, sometimes it has been true. Um, it's just not the case at the moment. I should just activate both of those nether portals next to each other. Uh, but the reason I can tell I'm still in the base of biome is because the water is a different color. Mm. Oh, do you I know what's a weird the literary the concept? I did. Uh, what do I not need? I don't need... I don't know. What is the weird literary concept? Professor? Wishing upon a star. Explain that one. I mean, well, when you want to deny the existence of God, all you have left is the heavenly bodies. Okay, but hear me out on this. If you're gonna wish on something in the sky, wouldn't the sun or the moon be more impressive? Many people in history have. Yes, but why is it that wishing really upon is. a star has made its way into our literature and wishing upon the sun or the moon hasn't. I mean, yes, as with many things, Disney hasn't romantic. helped. But why? That That's only because of the cultural perception. There's nothing inherently romantic about either concept. Uh, the stars? I think stargazing is an inherently romantic concept. Yeah, before I there was Netflix it's... and chill, you had stargazing and chill. See, that's another thing that I've never understood, because... You've also lived in the Appalachians all your life. Space is an objectively terrifying thing. So, I don't think it's that terrifying. I, I believe it is not objective, with this statement that you make. It is a cold, dark, emotionless vacuum of instantaneous cryo-freezing and death. And? Calm down, Iron Mouse. <laughs> I think that you just don't. I would like almost pay Black you Earth. to never say that again. Almost. You're the one talking about how terrifying space is. It I is! Mean, it's horrifying! You have you ever looked wrong. at the sky at night? I have, and I find it's it. It's the worst! I find what? it absolutely cool. I mean, yeah. You know what else? Is, you know what else is cool? Atomic Freedom. mushroom clouds doesn't mean that I want to look at them. I don't know if you were at the tail gunner in the Enola Gay, it wouldn't have hurt. That is my alarm. As long as you didn't look any lower, you'd be fine. 
until later when you found out how terrible it actually was. Until, you know, later when the PTSD sets in. <laughs> like, oh yeah, that was pretty much the worst way these people could have died, and it was technically our fault. I mean, there was that one guy that survived and then went to work and ended up in the other vi the other city. <laughs> yeah. I mean, that's just his fault. You're going to be having that much bad luck and go somewhere for work instead of staying home, I mean. I mean, to be fair, home as a concept is now a pile of rubble. Ah, uh, I see. Why he would go to work then is quite fascinating. It sounds like okay. a, work, a work addiction to me. Uh, I mean, if your home is gone... I would you use that as an excuse to not go into work the next day. I freed an Enderman! Woo! You freed one or you killed one? I freed one. Okay. He was trapped uh, by a bunch of lava. Like he and you him. let him out? Hear me out on this. Why didn't you murderize him? Hear me oh, out on this. Because I'm not a monster. Murderize him, tenderize him, and eat him. Okay, but hear me out on this. That's a bad idea. We need those pearls. I have four. Well, I have three. We I... need more! Okay. It well, can I take upwards of five or six broken ones just to find the stronghold. And then there's the chance that we're gonna need, like, twelve. We need them at the moment. You gonna Ch go stronghold hunting right now? No, we also yes. don't need food at the moment. You're gonna throw out all the food in your kitchen? Yes. Yes. That timing was not planned, by the way. <laughs> Y'all make happened. bad financial decisions. I know. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm trying to paint part of my house. I'm well aware that I make bad financial decisions. Well, it's just buying the supplies, a can of test paint, and the ceiling fan that I'm putting up has already cost me over $200. Okay, but hear me out on this. That's at least going to accomplish something. It is. Throwing it is. out your food for no reason is not going to accomplish things. It makes you skinny. Are you in-game, Job Job? Yes, I'm in-game. Are you able to sleep? I mean, I can. That's a thing it accomplishes. Please. Okay, comrade. Yes, it can. But hear me out on this. Undergoing chemotherapy comrade, can keep are you, you in from the having right to now? shave your head. Comrade is in the overworld right now. Come uh, on, bro. Undergoing chemotherapy can make can prevent you from shaving your head. That is true. As I pull all the last so Why don't you just go find some bald people and recommend that they undergo chemo to make their lives easier? Can you sleep, Caleb? Or comrade? Whoever you are? Like a fantastic idea. Is it going to be more than an idea? Um... Thank you. Well, I don't generally go around telling people how to live their life, so... Why not? It's a fun pastime. <laughs> Tell me how to live my life all the time! <laughs> also, aren't you employed as a, as a preacher? You know, a person whose job it kind of is to I explain kind of how you're how supposed to... <laughs> I was kind of wondering how long it's going to take people to realize the hole in what I said. Uh, I, the answer was too multiple long, holes. But the answer was too long, but it was still fun. There are multiple problems in what you said. <laughs> Too long, didn't read, still funny. TLDR? This coffee is nasty. Uh, what'd you do to it? I don't want to say out loud. I am ashamed. Added sugar. No! Ugh. That would have made it better anyway. I... 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 I wouldn't even be allowed to drink coffee after that. I put sugar in mine all the time, bro. Yeah, but you like Starbucks coffee, so I'd expect that kind of degeneracy from you. 
I mean, I put it. I put some sugar in my coffee in the form of chocolate syrup, but that's that's it. Okay, but hear me out on this one, comrade. Uh, my opinion of you can't go any lower. Are you saying your opinion of me can? I'm flattered. It's debatable. I don't know you quite as well as I know, comrade. I am the, the, I am the glue that binds this channel together. Unfortunately, that glue is highly carcinogenic. I was trying to come up with something to say, and I just couldn't. I'm like, well, okay, sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it was tactically true. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, and... It's like, yeah, well, uh, your face. I sense we're going to be Dan planned out of this thing, and eventually, we're going to be. I'm what? just messing. Dan planned out of everything. Dan planned. Did you ever see the animated channel Dan Plan? I mean, I I have. Yeah, they went down in flames. Well, I was gonna say I thought it was hot garbage when I saw it. I enjoyed it. Did they go down because of flames? Uh, I mean, no, that was there smosh. was a disagreement over. I mean, Smosh money. went down because people figured out that um. Wait, didn't they have a didn't one of didn't their like uh, building burn? Who they were evicted? One of the two. Like, Smosh. Yeah. I don't know. I don't Smosh, even know what Smosh uh, is. Smosh is um the channel that was the big meme before PewDiePie was the mm. big meme, and PewDiePie just refuses to die. The channel, not the person. Oh. Uh, Job Job's over here revealing that he's been attempting to assassinate <laughs> uh, for years. To be fair, I oh, swear God. Felix will fall by my hand. To be fair though, Felix. I'm fairly is certain his name is Felix. You are correct. Felix I'm gonna sound and really the way, dumb, his, I'm wrong. The way his You're channel runs is like Felix Felicis too. Um. I mean, he survived cancel culture. That's yeah. a feat. That would be why I'm referencing Harry Potter's Felix Felicis. But... The joke isn't funny if you have to explore it. Uh, the joke is even Chat? funnier once Chat? you explain. I'm not insane. This is really great. Look at that. <laughs> Somehow, Listen, whether I or not something is cool is not mutually exclusive with your mental impairment. I suppose not. Come here, villager. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Get in the boat. Also, you want to buy a watch? Boy, Thursdays are going to be fun if we're relying on me to be half of the humor. Be fun for me anyway. <laughs> I mean, it'll certainly be interesting. <laughs> I'll be fired in two weeks. I mean, I was planning on switching up who my co pilot is. That's fun. Every session, anyway. Are you filming more than one episode a session? Like back, just film sev for several hours back to back and then upload them slowly? Uh, yeah. Basically record once a month. Um, and so like four episodes at a time. That's fun. Got him right in the back of his mind. I know it's fine. It's my plan. I know it's fine. It's my business. <laughs> I certainly hope you have a license for that. I always feel alone when I repeat that meme because I feel like nobody else saw it. 
I just realized that my mic is muted and I've been funny for like the past minute and a half. <laughs> In your opinion. That's the funniest thing you've said in the last minute and a half. <laughs> I feel like you saying that is probably funnier than whatever it was you were saying. <laughs> stop! Stop! He's already dead! <laughs> yeah. So the tech industry to AMD. Stop beating Intel to death. They're already gone. Stop it! Stop it! He's already dead. <laughs> uh... uh. It's hard for AMD fans to be nice and fair, though, because Intel f people have been stomping on them for years and telling them they're idiots. I mean... It's like it's not right to respond in kind, but I understand why you're doing it. I'm not saying what you did was right. I'm saying I understand. <laughs> I hate having to fill up three stacks of wood with mostly just my hand. Gosh, it reminds me of a comedian that I was watching the other day. The thing I just said or the thing before that? The thing before that. Okay, I was going to be super concerned how punching a tree reminded you of a comedian. Mm. Uh, I mean... Reminds me of a funny guy. That reminds me of a different comedian. Didn't it? Yeah, I was a substitute teacher before being a stand-up comedian. He's like, the last job I did, and uh, the reason that I uh, don't do that anymore is because I was hired on as a substitute teacher for this class of little kids in their, you know, English reading class. And my assignment for the day was finish reading Charlotte's Web. How far into it were they? Well, um, they had four pages left when I showed up. <laughs> so the teacher knew what they were doing. <laughs> How? Like, oh, I'm not taking the fallout for this one. <laughs> fallout? Are you aware of, uh... How Charlotte's you, Web ends? You have oh, oh, web. oh, oh, oh. Now okay. let's read that around a bunch of very small children. Who have clearly the by this point fallen in love with went, Charlotte. And the teacher just kind of went, Yeah, I think now's a good time to use my vacation days. And just... That's when you know the teacher and left because they didn't want to be the one to have to do it. <laughs> Four Which pages left. They had four pages left. Pretty sad. <laughs> He's like, and of course the kids, they don't they don't know, they just they think that I'm the one that did this. <laughs> I would have done it just to watch their faces, honestly. It's like why why did she kill the spider? <laughs> Sign me up. I'll do it. Be like the kid from the Princess Bride movie. Grandpa, you're ruining the story. <laughs> like, Bruh. I did it right this. I, I, I'm totally I'm, gonna make you listen to it. I'm upset that I didn't write this. I like. I wish I had the ability to write this. But the so I'm sad great. that I lack the talent to write this. But the I, book isn't as good as the movie, from all accounts. Okay, but hear me out on this. What about the sequel? It's not that good anyway. What about the sequel wow. where the fox is like a? Totally not a so, sexual predator at all. Uh, jump, jump. Of course there, not. You will notice that there is like a little disconnect button next to your <laughs> Discord. You may kindly leave the call. Uh, <laughs> I don't know, jump, jump. Uh, nah, I'll. Oh. He doesn't it disconnect do anymore. anymore. Did you alt tab or something? I'm playing on an Xbox, so that would be quite impressive. 
I was going to say, did you square a triangle? But, uh, fun here by the the response would still be, I'm playing on a PlayStation or, or Xbox. That would be you fascinating. You as I'm making a joke about your disconnects. I'm was, not convinced that those aren't uh, related somehow. It was quite on point. It was on point before point existed. So I... Well, speaking of point... Xbox, um, explain what something went wrong means. Uh, speaking of point, I actually... I, I got a... Uh, I heard a really good insult this past week. I, uh... You're like a pizza slicer. You're all edge. No point. Now I understand why people only talk about you when you're not around. <laughs> I don't remember where I picked that one up, but uh, <laughs> I picked it up somewhere. That one's pretty good. I found the crown of England laying in the mud. And I picked it up. Listen, a lady sitting in a pond distributing swords is no basis for a system of government. Lake, sir. The quote uses lake. I mean, if I went around claiming that I was emperor, because some lady in a puddle threw a scimitar at me, they'd have me locked away. Ah, uh, good old Norton. The guy, the guy from San Francisco who was emperor of the United States. Oh, that guy. Yeah, yeah. Good old Emperor Norton. There are a few Norton bucks still floating around out there as highly valued collector's items. I tried to do the same thing a couple years back, but unfortunately, Onello rubles are still only worth their weight in Onello rubles. <laughs> Mm, my chunk wasn't loaded long enough for my mushrooms to grow. And since it's night and I rode, rode back to load the chunk, now there's no mushrooms here either. My Xbox exploded. I mean... And? Your first problem was using Xbox. Oh, 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 no, sir, you see, there's a disconnect button in Discord next to your name. <laughs> Use it. To be fair, though... Character that represents the Xbox from uh, Neptunia games is the worst. Okay, but to be fair, that doesn't do the Neptunia about. games are the worst. <laughs> uh, dear esteemed viewers, whatever you do, don't Google that. At least not on your parents' if, computer. If you're over 18. Still don't. <laughs> Still don't do that. Still don't do that. Whatever you do. I don't need to sleep. I was just resetting my spawn point. That that mental it's whatever that is. What is that? Oh, there's a trident wielding thingy shooting stuff at Already me. foisted upon me by the venerable and I use that with as much sarcasm as I can muster comrade once and it's not going to happen again and it's not going to happen to any of you if I can help it but you can't help it I mean I know I can't help it but I like to posture as if I can and you're kind of ruining it I'm, I'm just trying to you know look out for the viewer <laughs> how are you looking out for the viewer so they aren't feeling like you're uh, posturing to them I... <clears throat> See, the problem is, comrade, I just left my bed about 600 water road blocks behind me, at least. I'm getting the message. I am sorry. I can Knowledge sleep tomorrow you. night.
Oh, I need to pick up some sand while I'm out. I picked a whole bunch of cactus, but I need sand for them to grow on. I have home life's sieplings also. I feel like we should have landing strips like airplanes do for Elytra. The way that everybody seems to be unable to fly. I can fly. I believe what you do is called falling with style, friend. I was flying. And then, what you and were then doing you was falling very without well acquainted style. with the ground. No, 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 no. I was flying right up until the point of my elytra. I had even mastered the art of landing without needing a feather falling potion. And then my so elytra would... broke. And then I very much needed the feather falling potion. That would be what we call falling without the manual. Why would you call it that? Because if you'd read the user manual, it wouldn't have, it would have told you to beware of the durability. It's not anyone else's fault that you didn't read the manual. Uh, no, I think you're gonna have to just. Be you're gonna have this to take book is full of tips and strategies on how to survive this game. Everyone like... read it, and yet some people still died. Comrade I didn't with... read it. <laughs> Comrade with the elytra over here is like the captain from Wally. M M Manuel. Manuel. No, sir. Manual. <laughs> Computer, define hoedown. You know, I wasn't a, the biggest fan of that movie. It just didn't resonate with me that much, but there were some really funny scenes in there. Give me the plant. I really, just such a memeable movie. I really like Wally. I'm not gonna lie. Big Wally. Huh? I mean, I, I don't plan to ever watch it again, but it was enjoyable when I did watch it. I don't plan on watching it till I have kids. Again. But... So, you that know, if you, if you ever have that kids. That sentence was phrased wrong. I don't plan on watching yeah. it until I have kids. I, I mean, I was going to point out the fact that the way that you phrased that yeah. implies that you had already had, had in the kids. past kids. Yes, they were delicious. Give me um, just a second. So I'm not, <laughs> all right. Uh, I'm going to answer my door now. Oh, and you're yeah. going to clean that up by the time I get back. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> R.A. listening into that. Uh, well, he's at his uh, parents' house. This week. Mm. Oh yeah, because the system's at his parents' house. <laughs> uh, sometimes you're a terrible person, by the way, Cam. Right? <laughs> sometimes, just some, sometimes. Just putting that out there. Sometimes, just sometimes. Well, yeah, probably just sometimes. Probably, maybe, sometimes. I'm going to break this chest with a carrot. I guess you could say I cut my teeth on that. No. Is that acceptable levels? I don't know. I am I am making a hole in the ground in which to stick my uh blue shirts once they get them. In case you were wondering, chat, I am still um planning on getting mushrooms this episode. But I'm going to need a little hole in which to to have them. My current goal is just to have some kind of residence by the end of the night. <laughs> well, you're also moving your entire base of operations. Oh, I'm not bringing all that stuff with me. My goodness. 
What's there, for the most part, will probably stay there. I'll hold a wooden shovel while the boat's moving so it looks like I'm paddling extra. Right. What's the mark of a true soldier is looking extra busy? Paddle faster. I hear the, I hear the sergeant pedal faster. That's how you can make that joke without getting copyright stricken. You can probably make the joke anyway, but... <laughs> oh! Maybe eventually I'll make a blue ice bridge back. Paddle way faster than water. Or just skate faster than water. Do you run faster on ice? I believe so. Ah, the mushrooms have returned. I see you over there. I want you to come here. I have so much junk in my pockets, it's ridiculous. Put the useful building blocks in a little chest. Everything else in the big chest. All right, I'm back. Have y'all cleansed your unholy shenanigans? We haven't been talking, so we don't know. Uh, uh, give it a few minutes. You'll are you asking be able to. If I, um, if I changed my ways, uh, I was wondering if you'd if figured out enough enough common courtesy to at least temper yourself while other normal human beings are around? No. Well, first of all, you made the mistake of assuming I'm a human being. Dude, yeah, 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 uh-huh. I'm some kind of yes man over here. Stop defending him. <laughs> I'm his yes man. Stop. <laughs> Stop it. Get some help. <laughs> He's not wrong. Stop it! Get some help. <laughs> and some McDonald's. Don't do drugs. Winners don't use drugs. If you do do steroids. drugs, don't get caught. Except steroids. A lot of winners use steroids. It's a big scandal in almost every sport. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It wasn't... Okay. Wasn't as big in baseball, but... but... Maybe not for every team. Not for every team. You certainly had your... Uh, uh, Yankees? Yes. Good old Yanks. You certainly had your moments. <laughs> That's why everyone hates the <laughs> really? Oh no 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 no! That that's the first in a pretty long oh, list of reasons, reasons why people hate the Yankees. <laughs> I mean, I'm still I'm still a Yanks fan, whatever the case. Well, I was until they went until all sports went super woke, and then I was then I was like, see, eh, I don't need any of you. All of you can go die in a hole. I don't need to see this crap anymore. See, I yeah. used to like baseball quite a lot. And then um, something very interesting happened in my life. I up. turned three. 
big oof. And then, you know, it's... If our viewers haven't caught on yet, I like using the term big oof. And if our viewers haven't caught on yet, I really don't like baseball. And I really like baseball. Which is really weird and annoying because uh, University A, at which I attend, their shtick when it comes to sports is basketball and baseball. And occasionally soccer. University that still cares about baseball. Well, I mean, they don't. Oh, have, they don't have a football team. Still care about baseball. It's just nobody pays attention to university baseball. No, I now yes. have four bowls of mushroom stew. Listen, I, nobody cares about professional baseball. Hardly. I care about professional baseball up until, as uh, Dream Team pointed out, they went low this year. Or last year. Well, that's what caught. That's what uh, why I don't do NFL anymore is because if they went. Su- it came out later as I more guess, and more information had- came out about some of the names on the helmets. It came out at a certain point that some of the names on those helmets were actually criminals doing criminal things when they were killed by the police. Well, I'm I mean, like, I'm but they still the kept NFL the name on there. Uh, because hear me out on this American football is just it's literally just uh shut up no no say it say it I'm trying to think of what it's called it's uh rugby yeah it's just rugby but less dangerous and therefore more uh, (laughs) I mean, I'll be honest, if there was actually rugby in the U.S., I feel that was professional, I would be I would be here for it if it wasn't woke. I mean... I mean, I wouldn't care. Uh, okay, I also use the term less dangerous kind of sarcastically, because it's less dangerous in the same way that uh, boxing is less dangerous today. Like, yes, the gloves prevent more injuries from happening if everyone was to only punch the stomach, which is where they used to punch. But when you're wearing gloves, it's almost impossible to knock out your opponent if you're only punching the stomach. So everyone punches the face (laughs) now, which apparently (laughs) raises the danger of the sport. (laughs) Yes, comrade, please please tell me more about how it's impossible to knock somebody out with a body glove. I didn't say impossible. I said with a boxing glove in the stomach. A boxing glove in the stomach makes it harder to knock somebody out. He was he was quite specific. I'll defend him on that one. Again. I hate being I hate being third imposter. I hate being the yes man, but I'll yeah, embrace quit it. Quit being third imposter for comrade here. I can't help it. It's it's my uh this is what I was made to do. Nature. Where does nature? I believe. Yes, what fa- what happened with boxing actually has a very long history of the gloves being a terrible idea. Right. Which is yes, point. but you have people age, like no, 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 no. It, it goes all the way back to ancient Greece when pugilism was first really big. Because strangely enough, boxing is not a thing that's like a worldwide phenomenon because hear me out on this the fist is a terrible instrument to you know hit someone with <laughs> it depends on who's uh who, well, which okay, end of it you're so on you're, you're kind of right like it is it is the uh it is the part of the body which is best suited to hitting somebody um but overall... So you say you're right, but I'm also going to tell you why you're wrong. No, no, well, listen. We're not designed to hit things with our naked body. We are designed to hit things with tools and weapons. We're not designed for naked fear. Only for clothed fear. For instance, uh... If we were to start, uh, 
like uh, javelins are like a, a really great weapon that's easy to make because it perfectly complements our body and how we move. Alright, I might have to come back all that way just to get a little bit of coal. Somehow in the little cave on the isle, there is no coal. Uh, so yes, the fist is a terrible thing to hit someone with, but in general, the human body is not great at hitting things. <laughs> um, That's why we were given I, legs, so we could run away. Oh, here's some coal. Run away instead. Actually, we, we're really great at just running things down. Um, uh, okay. Like, you can't run faster than a cheetah, but you know what you can do? You Stab can it in keep, the heart. You can keep moving until the cheetah just gives up and dies. And then you can eat the cheetah. You know, I think I've That's just... That's how humans have been hunting forever. It, we just I've speed walk it things until they die of exhaustion. I had a coal vein that was only two blocks. I that's mean, got that's got to be a record. No, no, because you can have a one block coal vein. Who's ever found a one block coal vein? I'm pretty sure I have, but listen, you've got to make up for those diamond veins of insane proportion somehow. That's I not. Mean. That now you're just being mean to me. <laughs> Just being a meanie. No. Right. Anyway. What was I on about before? Um, cocaine, I think. No, I was on cocaine. I was on about boxing gloves. That's right. Chat, is this going uh, to work? Is this going to work? No. So. In. The idea of boxing as we know it, is generally accepted to have originated in Greece. And it's very much a... It's very much unique to that culture because it really doesn't exist anywhere else in the same way. Because, as I've said, the fist is a really bad thing to be hitting people with. Because it's like 23, if I remember properly. 23 bones. Yes. Ball? 8, yeah, 9, most, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. 26 bones. Yep. Never heard of a bones before. Uh, there's 26 bones in your hand. They're all very small. I was making a Treasure Planet quote, and I was hoping that you, as a fellow fan, would not fail Yeah, I got it, but, okay. like, at the same time, I'm trying to finish my train of thought before Comrade derails it again. Well, I'm, I'm here to crash it. I, I'm blowing it up. Accept it. Anyway, um, so... Right. Um... <laughs> the hand's a bad thing to be hitting people with. It's not a good idea. You're far more likely to break your own hand or cause fractures in those bones and than you are to, like, seriously injure your opponent. Right. And the... Especially if you're hitting... The like thing about face. that is that, like, hand injuries are notoriously recurring injuries. <laughs> it's very difficult to sustain a serious injury to your hand and not have it just stick with you for the rest of your life. Mm. Especially if you're going to be punching people for a large portion of that time. There's now, a mushroom standing in my bed. Get off my bed. It's like Did you want to sleep tonight, comrade? Uh, we can do that. I'm pulling a villager in a boat across the world. We are oh, not sleeping you're tonight. Back in here. Yeah. Uh, I didn't he got back in a while ago. So, um, right. Uniquely Western concept, and 
the ancient Greeks were like, wow, our hands are really getting messed up when we punch each other, especially in the head, because that's just like one gigantic safety helmet made out of bone. And, and I'm sure that the thought process went exactly like that. And so their thought was, well, we can fix this. We just need to put something like on our hands in order to keep them from getting messed up. So they wrapped them in leather, right? Oh, yeah. As you do. And, like, that helped a bit. And then the Romans were like, nice idea, chief. Uh, we're going to use hardened leather and embed studs in it. <laughs> and welcome to the Kaistus. Uh The Kaistus was a deadly weapon. It's essentially brass knuckles wrapped in leather. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. of course. And it's Roman. And, well, I mean, the Romans the Romans are notorious for taking bad ideas and cranking them up to 11. Oh, no. the, Roman, the Romans are notorious for just taking ideas and cranking them up to 11. 11. I, I figure that and, the leather wraps didn't like, add too much danger even to the guy you're punching. So. No, no not, not seriously, but when they started using... Um, when they transitioned from soft, pliable leather to hard leather with studs in it, that became a big thing. Right. Well, it's kind of like... Um, Hand wraps. Uh, hand wraps are fairly safe and help prevent your hand from getting injured. I'll get to that. Um, <laughs> I'll get to that. Okay. Anyway. Uh, oh, okay, fairly safe being relative. <laughs> Here's right. my bowl. Right. Anyway, I'll get to that. So, there are two Endermen after me. Um, nice. So the Romans, the Romans were like, "That's cool, chief." And then they made the Kaistus, which is hard leather with metal spikes in it. And then the Romans looked at the Romans and went, "Kid stuff." And then they added knives to it. And I don't really understand why they did that. It was more fun. But right. they did. They hate themselves and everyone around them. Pretty also, much, we're not apparently. Going to bed because, uh, Don's already and so, <laughs> you know, now that the Romans have just decided to one-up themselves for a couple hundred years, um, you know, eventually the Empire falls and we're left with this idea of pugilism. And that was... Strangely enough, despite its blood sport esque origins, it was considered a fairly gentlemanly thing. For the time. Well, because, like, it, it was. I, I don't really understand it, but it was, it was the preferred method of single combat and duels for people that, you know, weren't knights. And. It was weird. Moving on to the British tradition, we get what's known as the London Prize Fight Rules, which is generally considered to be the beginning of professional sport boxing as we know it today. Of course the British were like, yeah, that's just a good idea. I mean, they also what? invented, uh, what's the, uh, what's the one where you use an umbrella? Jousting? Are you referring to Baritsu? Yes, Baritsu. Yeah, that was Aikido and boxing mixed together and added an umbrella. <laughs> anyway. And because of the umbrella, it is my favorite martial art. It's probably it's, terrible, but it's... I can confidently say that it is the best martial art if you are going to be exclusively using umbrellas. <laughs> in that it is the only one that is specifically designed to that use umbrellas. Yes. Anyway, so... <laughs> uh, those rules were essentially... Uh, you know, the guys aren't allowed to wear any armor. They're not allowed to wear pretty much anything except their pants and their shoes and the gloves, which were soft leather mitten-like things. 
and you know they ran into the same problem that the Greeks did. Hey, Never our hands really freaking hurt. I suppose it's so you can't hide things. There. Yeah, because that was that was a big problem, and we'll get to that. Uh, um, so the the gloves then were literally just kind of like soft leather mittens that you hit each other with. And they ran into the same problems that the Greeks did. Uh, namely that, gosh, this really, still really hurts my hand. Especially considering that a legitimate and widely practiced technique for blocking a punch under those rules was to just lean forward and take it on the forehead. That seems like less than a positive idea. Though it uh, does uh, explain a little bit more about the British. Well, see, the thing is, you'd think that'd be a terrible idea, but if you can brace your neck for it and put your weight behind it, you're going to break your opponent's hand. And you're going to be dazed, but they're going to have a broken hand. So you're coming out on top in that exchange. Uh, yeah. So they essentially were like, okay, we need something else. And the something else that they decided was, let's just stuff them with wool. Let's just stuff the gloves with wool. That didn't do very much, um, strangely enough. I say strangely. Um, I'm being very sarcastic. It did almost nothing. What it did do is made everyone feel a lot better about the whole situation and it um it allowed people to much more easily get away with putting other stuff in the gloves <laughs> meaning uh like rocks and bits of wood that they would hold on to and actual brass knuckles <laughs> So, you just end up with this horrible situation where it's this wet arms race, literally. And they're like, okay, this isn't, this is a terrible thing. We, we, we're going to start, like, you know, patting down the gloves, making sure nothing was hiding anything in it. And, uh... You start paying people off. And our hands are still, you know, breaking. So, what do we do? Well, the solution is to wrap your hands in cloth and then stick them in the gloves. And that helped a bit. And that just kind of slowly evolved with the technology to become what we now consider to be modern-day hand wraps. And those are really good at keeping you from breaking your own hand. They're really bad at literally everything else. To be fair, sure, I think sure. the main thing you should be worried about if you're getting into fuses is breaking your hand. Because you've signed up to have everything else. No, I'm, I'm going to get to that. Um, so, everything else just got a billion times worse. The amount of damage that you take over the course of a match got a lot worse because no one's hurting their hands anymore, so they're throwing more punches. And the, the wraps, when they advance to a sufficient degree, and especially now, are a type of compression which help to unify the fist. So instead of 26 individual bones, you've essentially just got one big hammer-like thing attached to the end of your arm. They also add extra weight, so that's more mass, which is going to make you hit harder. And the nice plushy bit at the end confuses your brain's idea of range and makes you think that you're not going to hit something when you are, which reduces the psychological limiter that your brain places on your strength, so you hit even harder. 
This is what's led to the huge amounts of just horrifying injuries like retinal detachment and literal ring death that Aren't have been sustained in boxing. Pardon? Is it the purpose to punch them until you kill them? No. Well, what's the fun in that? The only thing, in my opinion, that's worse for boxing than the current gloves is the standing eight count, and thank goodness they got rid of that. What's standing eight? Uh, the standing eight count was essentially a... So, you can win multiple different ways in boxing. You can win by KO, mm -hmm. which is you knock your opponent out cold, or they fall to the mat and they can't get up within a 10 count. That's you one thing. I believe it's declared a no contest if they die. <sighs> um, that hasn't happened recently in that a fighter has died in the ring. Quite a lot of them have died due to injuries sustained in the ring mm. after the match was called. Um, my Sounds point, like a lot of football players who died to brain injuries later on. Yeah, but I'm referring to more like hours after the match. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you don't have time to donate your brain to science at that point. Like, they were carted out of the, the ring on a stretcher, taken to hospital, and then they just kind of were taken to the, the city morgue. To uh, what are you? British? British. I've been watching too many British streamers recently. I don't um, care. Yeah, but now I'm starting to talk like them and it burns I every care. time I do. I, care too. I don't. Anyway, uh, oh, there... So, a... A referee can declare a TKO, a technical knockout, for two reasons. One, you've been knocked down for three times in one round. That's an automatic TKO. The next is if a fighter is so out of it that for an extended period of time, they are not capable of intelligently defending themselves. So if they're just standing there and taking it on the chin and just getting beaten seven ways to Sunday, but they're not going down. The ref can step in and go, listen, you obviously don't have any control over the situation. If this keeps up, you're going to die. So they call the match there. And then they take them to the mark. And then they take them to the hospital, yes. Um, but a thing, a rule that existed for a while is... Well, no, I need to back up even further than that. Um, when a fighter went down in, like, the early days of professional boxing, I'm, like, talking uh, 1910s, 1920s-ish. Yeah, yeah. The other boxer just kind of stood there right next to him. And wow. when, you know, the guy... Well, because, you know, the guy goes down and the ref steps up and he starts the count. And the guy mm -hmm. has to get up by the count of 10. There was no rule that said that the other boxer couldn't be standing there waiting for that. So, like, the second he stood up, bam! Second shot. And they they went, that's not very sportsmanlike, that's very... You know, you don't... You, you shouldn't be allowed to do that. No so they, they introduced the neutral corner rule, which was in large part due to Jack Dempsey because he had to fight a guy who they were they were actually pretty close friends just normally and so they were like oh, this, we're not going to do this like you know it's it's the strategy that you adopt if you really want to win but like it's very it's very cheap and everyone knew it and so they decided they weren't going to do that, and the match was much more interesting as a result. And so the boxing federations took note and was like, oh, they changed this thing, and the fight got cooler, so we'll do that, we'll make that a rule. So they introduced the neutral corner rule. In another... What they found is that 
because of that, they had the fighter that went down has more time and more of a chance to recover. And that allows the fight to one go on longer and two be more even in most scenarios. Now, the boxing uh, powers that be saw this and were like, ooh, 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 we can introduce another rule that does a similar thing and gives the fighter that's, you know, clearly losing time to recover, and it'll make the, the fight, you know, go on longer and be more interesting. And that's what the purpose of the standing eight count was. The standing eight count is the bit that happens right before a TKO by lack of defense is called. It's at the ref's discretion, they can step in, and this is before it's gotten so bad that they'd have to call a TKO because someone's not defending themselves. But after the bit where they've started taking, you know, massive amounts of damage, the ref would step in and do what's called a standing eight count, where they would separate the fighters and they would count to eight, and the person on the receiving end of the barrage would have to demonstrate that, yes, I can still fight, I can still go on, I'm able to defend myself and all that. Mm. And the problem with this was that you've essentially taken a fighter that was already taking a lot of damage. That's a lot of given, damage. Given them some time to recover and been like, y'all K okay, champ? Y'all good? You feeling good? You feeling spicy? And then just send them back out there to get beaten up again. And there was no limit on the standing eight counts. So there was kind of a lot of them for a while, which led to the fights going on so long, and both fighters taking so much damage uh, that people started dying as a result. The concussion rate went way up. The uh, retinal tearing rate went way up. All of the major injury rates went way up. It was a terrible idea and was basically in my opinion it was the worst thing to happen to boxing you know since the whole uh, leather gloves with spikes on yeah but that's the Romans and like the Romans were the worst thing to happen to the Romans were the worst thing to happen that's fair enough <laughs> Do either of you know what the coordinates of the spawn are? Or our base is? I can only get you as close as our spawn. 2479116 is the short view. So that'll lead you to about the. What's the first set of numbers? Seven nine one one four and sixty nine. Uh, sure, but the short cave itself is down to forty sevens. Right. Gandalf's always been interesting to me because he's he's this weird kind of whatever he needs to be kind of character. Okay. Because, like, at least in the, the stories, I, I'm sure that the lore goes a lot deeper, but it it's always just kind of like, ah, this guy's kind of human, kind of immortal, death doesn't really stick. Uh, he's powerful, but we have no idea how powerful. Claims he can't affect the weather, but again, death doesn't stick. Well, Fuck death all wrong to death. Death doesn't stick because he's an angel. Like... Yes, well, but and like, that's never explained in the stories. 
he fought a Balrog, and the deaths didn't stick where most every other person... I mean, well, and it did technically remain true with him, even, that uh, slaying a Balrog cost the person's life in the end. Not that it, there was a curse placed on them, but the only people ever recorded beating Balrogs, they died. Okay, yes, but he got over it. Yes. Well. It, it, it's, it's, just, it's weird, because it's never actually explained what he can do. He just does things. And that's that's always weird to me. I've read the Cimmerillion several times. Yes, so I was digging not several times. I've read the others several times. Silmarillion once. I've so never read the he's, Silmarillion. He's more familiar with it than I am. I have started the Silmarillion. And if I understand It's it, well worth getting to the end. If I understand it properly. Basically, Gandalf's an angel mm -hmm. who gave up his spiritual and immortal form for an increase in power. But he wasn't a particularly powerful angel. The Silmarillion is yet not he's like the most powerful. powerful entity in all of the Lord of the Rings. Well, no, he's not, because um, Saruman... He's won every fight he's ever been in. He's technically... Gandalf is technically on the same level. He lost the first fight with them. Gandalf is power-wise and rank-wise uh, if no one of the Valar had ever been corrupted. Gandalf would be on the same rank and file as Sauron. Yeah. And they both gave up a... They both gave up their immortal spiritual form for extra power. I don't know. But Sauron was an elf. Nope. No. So, there... You have the, the high leader who began the song that created... Middle Earth, but you have the Valar who did most of the singing under him, and they are the ones who did most of the fighting. Melkor, who created the Balrogs and was named Morgoth by the elves, he was of the Valar. In fact, he was considered essentially a brother of the highest of the Valar. He led many, many of the Maiar who were underneath the Valar astray with him, as well as several Valar. And most of the most of them ended up becoming Balrogs. So Balrogs are technically also on the same level as Sauron and Gandalf. Which is why it even the greatest and highest of the elves cost their own lives to destroy them. And often required much help, and very few instances of it ever happened. So, Gandalf, the two blue wizards, Radagast, and Saruman, all came across the sea at a certain point from Valar to try and aid men in the darkness. Wait, Radagast? Is of the same level. Oh Radagast the Brown is not ever portrayed like they portray him in the Hobbit movie. In fact, really, almost nothing is said of him, and it's all assumption in that movie. Thank goodness, because if that thing is one of the Divines, we're all boned. What so... The, uh, what is the, what's the My Solemn Island uh, chords again? We have 3306 oh. minus 343. So the Maiar are a level under the Valar. One of the reasons why men were able to overcome uh, Sauron at certain points 
when they were at the height of their power is because he was Maiar and not Valar. The, the wars fought against Sauron were as terrible in some ways as the wars that were fought against Melkor. But the men had a lot more success than they would have if Sauron had been higher in the deity levels. There, if, if Sauron had been higher in the deity levels, there would have been no way that Minas Tirith would have stood even half as long as it did. There was a wide, vast, empty, wilderness, destroyed land between the land of the elves and the land of Melkor, uh, who they named Morgoth, that was just essentially uninhabitable. Nobody could live there. You could not get across it without getting captured and noticed and massive massive orc on uh, armies were there uh, Sauron imitates the creation of the of things but Melkor actually invented the dragons so as as terrible as Sauron is mankind had better be very happy that they didn't have to fight Melkor until the end of the wars with Morgoth because for most of the time that elves dwelt in Middle Earth and fought, fought with Melkor, mankind had not yet awakened in Middle Earth. They came in in the last few hundred years of that war, which spanned over a thousand. Interesting. Um, but you understand, like, how little that explains anything, right? Wait, what are you wanting explained now? I'm, it's, now I'm confused. He wanted, he wanted Gandalf's power system explained. You, 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 it, that doesn't explain, like, what any of them can do. That just explains how what they are they relative are. to each other. So, each of both the Valar and the Ma Lesser Maiar all had different speci specialties. Um, Ulmo was was a Valar very specific to the water, but he didn't have a lot of power outside of it. And so what you ended up with is kind of like the Egyptians had gods for different things. And they were a deity over that certain thing. The religious structure is very similar, and the, the deity structure and hierarchy is very similar. And, well... Which actually raises the point. Um, Gandalf's uh, power set does seem to be primarily focused on helping other people achieve greatness. Wow, incredibly specific. Gandalf is very skilled with... Um, they actually state in the beginning of The Hobbit that he's very... Or not Hobbit, the beginning of Fellowship that he is very gifted with explosives and, and... Yeah, I figured that was just a hobby he picked up from being like a billion years old. No, he was actually specialized in it. Alright, uh, well, that was never explained. <laughs> but I mean, also beyond that, of course, as Comrade indicated, he's also very much... Skilled in plotting to bring people into power. If he had wanted to do evil himself like Saruman did, he could have quite easily changed power from the background. I think my puppy needs out. Saruman ended up having a, a mind more towards making things and machines and study and lore. Which, of course, he chose to corrupt as he did more and more research into Morgoth and then especially into Sauron 
and Sauron's war machines and the rings. Wait, can you only fit one Specifically, in a boat? I guess it makes sense. It would take up two slots. But I can sit in it with it. No, I can't. I guess. Mushroom just drowns. So, uh, Radagast had a specialty for animals and communicating with them and working with nature, which unfortunately turned quite sour. Even though he wasn't corrupted, he was a kindly person that didn't really notice that Saruman had gone evil. And for a long time, Saruman used Radagast to get news through birds and things. Uh, Dream Thief, I did just die like right next to I am currently letting my dog out. Why? Oh, Dream oh. Thief, can I take uh, the brown mushrooms out of your chest in your house? Yes, I have more mushrooms over here. I also Ooh. have endless mushroom soup. Right. I unless just need to make some fermented spider's eyes. Unless somebody was malicious and came and digged up all of the top of this island, and then we wouldn't have a mushroom island anymore. The word is dug. Um. Well, the reason I was uh, mentioning something was so that you could pick up my stuff before it despawned. But... Oh. Uh. Logic seems completely ineffective against you. That's because I bought a ward off of a traveling fortune teller once. It lets me add two and two and get a pickle. Excellent joke. I will say, uh, however... It, it was it was actually really good in the book. While Saruman used Radagast for evil... He was asked to send information both to Gandalf and Saruman. And so Saruman was the reason why Gandalf found the little moth or whatever and was able to summon the eagles is because that information was being sent and they went to the top of Saruman's tower and said, Hey, this, uh, you know, here's some information about what's going on. And you're doing he's like, good, yeah, buddy? could you send me the eagles? I need help. <laughs> hey, bud, how you doing? You you like it up here? The view's nice, huh? Yeah, could I get some help, please? Ah, sure, fam, no problem. The moths. I don't know what's killing me, but I'm being killed. Ah, oh, it's a trident thingy. Good grief. I don't, don't even think I'm wearing armor. Oh, I'm wearing some gold armor. I have a set of leather. I should probably save the gold for later. I'm currently looking to... I did. I On did. audiobook. It's not in there, sir. Leave it. I brought you another boat, by the way. I have one over there. Are you not taking the rest of your stuff? Uh, I mostly want to get these cows in first. I mean, I'm not going to hold on to it forever. I mean, if it's all sitting out here. If it stays, it will become a part of my inventory. Excellent. Every yeah, I have going according to I have this beautiful slip to build a big sloop or ship or something in. But it's going to require me to bring every ounce of wood from somewhere else. Because there's in a boat no with wood. One of the mushrooms. So I can take back four mushrooms. Uh, that's nice. Except that's... I only have two leads. 
so I can only take back three potions. Okay. That's less nice. Unless New you have actual some, uh, shovel equipped. Can you breed mushrooms? I uh, I don't know. Can you? What, what do mushrooms eat? I, I don't know. Am I going to need a mycelium block? I don't know. I. You have to have a, t a uh, silk touch to get it, though. I have one. I have a silk okay. touch. Y'all are asking the deep lore questions that I don't know the answers to. But you're our deep lore expert. If you don't know, what then do we do? There are Listen, no if it doesn't exist in my brain, it doesn't exist. Some... I'm sure that that's been you used in some form or another. All the way down? You're a mad Yeah. Man. I want it to look right. These piers, the piers will eventually have uh, standoffs that go all the way down. I just need to get enough cobblestone to do it. Ah! I am a man of culture that likes things to look correct. So, y'all can just uh, breed mushrooms with wheat. Can they live on grass? I mean... Can they eat okay, grass? you know what? I'm gonna die, 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 I'm gonna die! I won! Piece of garbage! I'm tired of you shooting me! Aw, my trident has like 0.18 life left. Alright, here we go with our boats. Now I'm sad. Oh, I forgot to mention, I got some uh, Black Forest gummy bears today. The only kind to have. Yeah. They're me. Okay. You must consume Prilosec. Interesting. I was gonna say you must consume Black Forest, but then my uh, mind went to Game Grumps, and now we're here. So it looks like they can live just about anywhere. Okay. Thief! You have been warned. So I've been reading a, uh, a series recently. I say reading. I've been listening to a series on audiobook recently. Mm -hmm. And, well, I'm like three quarters of the way through the series, and it it already changed genre from high fantasy, like, medieval sword and sorcery type of stuff mm -hmm. to... Essentially... The Wild West, but with magic. No, geez. And I, for one, am in support of this change. Mm, this ain't it, Chief. Listen, it doesn't sound like a good idea. I was not. pretty upset when I first heard it. But it's a really good series. Mm. I mean... At this point, it just sounds like Werewolf of the Wild West. What? It's, um... No, see, because this series is good, and Werewolf not a meme. Werewolf the Wild West is a role-playing game based on Werewolf the Apocalypse. Comrade, I'm gonna stop you right there. This series is good. Yeah, Werewolf the Wild West is a great movie. I sense trauma about to be brought out here. He's never played it. He's correct. I just... I, I already don't like werewolf. Well, then, I sense the drama, then. Why don't I, you like werewolf? You've never played So that. much drama. It's not fun. You've never 
never played it. It's not the, uh, it's not the game where you're... I believe you're misinterpreting this, sir. Werewolves are dumb. They are not fun. Now that's not entirely true. No, that's true. not what he's saying. He's getting it mistaken with the card game uh, slash social deduction game where somebody's a werewolf and they're killing the people who have to vote somebody out every night. Is that not what we're talking about? That the game with the exact doing. same name? It is the game with the exact same name, but it's, um... You heard of Vampire the Masquerade? Oh my gosh! It's in the same universe, but you're the werewolves. Wow! That's a billion times worse than what I thought it was. Well, except the, the werewolf faction's actually pretty cool, unlike the vampire faction. L l comrade, 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 what? comrade. Yeah. I'm not going to say that you're lying to me. But he doesn't believe you. But you're lying to me. Or he's just going to say it. That's fine, too. Listen, there is nothing at all within anything Vampire the Masquerade which interests me. Okay? Well, that's fine. Not an edgy emo teenager kinda anymore. Gay. Vampire the Masquerade's kind of gay. Were you, you ever know about that? Teenager? We don't need to talk about my phases. Okay then. Little harsh, little sharp, aren't you? There are parts of my life which I don't want people to know about. It sounds more like you don't want to relive the fact that you weren't went that far. That's kind of what I said. I anyway. To, though. Anyway. If the people that made Vampire the Masquerade had anything to do with this, immediately it drops to zero on my interestedness meter. It sits firmly next to Game of Thrones and... Actually, I honestly can't think of many other things that sits that low. Well, it's entirely different from Vampire the Masquerade. <sighs> it just shares the, the same universe. That's it. Comrade, you understand that sharing the same universe means a lot, right? It means a lot in terms of the tone and the mechanics and everything, right? All the things. You understand that, yeah? Yeah. And I'm telling you that the tone of Vampire the Masquerade well, no, 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 no. is the, the tone dumb. Of, the tone is entirely different. What's the weirdest thing about the... Um... So why does it exist in the same universe? That's we a exist in dumb the same idea. No, okay, it's because there's like six different... There are six different games. They all share the same rules. They're all set in the same universe. But they're all entirely different in tone. Because you're that playing, is the dumbest way to playing, design a world. You're playing a game in which every every faction has their own perception of how the world works. And only one of them actually knows how the world works. It's the werewolves. <laughs> <laughs> this really sounds like they, they tried to make something where Werewolves they're actually... begging and pleading with their audience, please don't look at the other things we've made, we're sorry. Well, the werewolves are, like, the first ones that they made. Somehow <laughs> Vampire the Masquerade's the most famous, but Werewolf the Apocalypse Why? is the like Why? If well, it's the best one, why would they shoot themselves? Well, I actually don't think it's the best one, because there's also one that's about normal people who can suddenly, like, see monsters. Where, like, most people can't, like, see monsters. <laughs> yes, they that... can! That was, like, a whole mechanic! No, no, no. Well, okay, they can... 
let's like a huge that. part I'm of it. Okay, all right. A huge part of that was like, you're, don't you're let right. normal people see you. You're right. It is a mechanic in Vampire the Masquerade. I'm sorry. I, I got. It's the, like the I mechanic. The okay. Okay. So in Vampire the Masquerade, normal people can see like vampires, and so you have to like kill people who like saw you. All right, once everybody's slept, I'm going to go ahead and take my break now in since Werewolf we're the apocalypse, 30 minutes past the halfway. In, in Werewolf the Apocalypse, normal people can still see you, but after their encounter with you, you were so terrifying and horrifying, their brain just goes, but that didn't happen. <laughs> wow. So we're taking the world. only interesting bit, and they're going... Yeah, but the bit where like you have to be careful about when and where you use your abilities and well, you know your because, relationship with the outside world. Just because, screw all that interesting stuff. That's because the focus is different. Because in Werewolf the Apocalypse, you're not a you're not a werewolf who's trying to get his daily meal from human beings. You could actually mostly care less about normal human beings. What you're focused what on. Instead? What you're focused on is basically, um, as a werewolf, you are Earth's last line of defense against Eldritch Horrors. There it is. Speaking of which, vampires are Eldritch Horrors. They don't actually, the vampires don't know that themselves. But, uh, the vampires. vampires are, um, Let's see. Uh, let me see if I can get the lore right. So vampires I don't. are basically <laughs> entropy monsters, uh, which are slowly sucking the life out of Mother Gaia. Uh, but uh, vampires are actually amongst the weakest of the uh, entropy monsters which you'll face. I mean, they can only stop time with their minds. It's only the powerful vampires, and uh... No, that's literally anyone in a specific you, clan. You don't understand, when you're playing uh, Werewolf the Apocalypse, you're literally the most powerful faction, despite your dwindling numbers. You don't understand. This world is dumb and inconsistent. Well, uh, no, okay, I do understand. Since, you've, since you're familiar with Vampire the Masquerade, I'll put it this way. A normal werewolf is, I believe, about on par with the Antibolian vampires. Okay, so or you play one-man army. Are the wolves unaware on... that they're draining power from the vampires? Gaia? The vampires are unaware that. They're draining are the wolves power. unaware? No, the wolves are trying to protect Gaia. But if the so wolves are that much stronger, vampires. yeah. What? If the wolves are that much stronger, like those elder vampires are monstrously strong. Yeah, if no. the wolves are that much stronger than the vampires, it would be incredibly easy for them to just waltz in and wipe them out. Well, like I said, the vampires are amongst the weakest of the entropy monsters. Waltz in and wipe them out. Well, they do whatever they find them. The one, the one strength vampires have is they're really good at hiding. They are notoriously bad at hiding. Well, the werewolves don't have access to planes or something. All you have to do—they is... are uh, cartoonishly bad at hiding. Well, they're like the person in that yeah, old blonde joke that the hiding in the sack of potatoes. A little bit, but there's a reason the Antinovolians don't like move out in the open, because they know about the werewolves. And uh, at least, I mean, it wouldn't take more than, like, five werewolves to kill an anti bullion probably. Uh... Oh my gosh, it's like they don't care. Well, they, they do care, and... The writers, comrade. No, 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 the no, writer. no, I meant the writers do care, it the doesn't lore, sound like they do. The lore might not be to your liking, but it's the lore is dumb. 
Dolores, hey, there's these factions. They oppose each other. One is so strong that they could easily wipe out the other if they found them, well, but they're not going to do that because we don't want them to. If you noticed, I also mentioned that they have dwindling numbers, which is why it's getting worse and why it's called... I'm right, unless the there's like 12 of them. Unless there's like 12 of them. They could do it. If they're as strong as you say that they are, they could do it. They could do it fairly easily. It would also be their duty to do it before their numbers got too low, for the rest of Earth's sake. Even if they don't care about humans, certainly they must care about something on the Earth. I say that they don't care about humans, but technically humans are like half of their gene pool, so they do kind of care. So, more of reason! More, you, you, you're literally just giving us a list of reasons why they should do what they're obviously not doing, and then defending them for not doing it. I, my point was that they're trying. They're it's not, the clearly. It's called the apocalypse because it feels like a losing battle. But the more, the most interesting... It's not a losing battle! The most interesting of the, uh, uh, the factions to me is the one where it's made up of humans, uh, who are called the Awakened. And basically, you're just a normal human who gained, like, one superpower and the ability to remember that, oh, I saw a werewolf. Uh, or also see... Th you can normally see through, like, a vampire's illusions. Um... Basically, you've been given the ability to, like, remember monsters and, uh, s try to, uh, fight them off. You are um, given the ability to completely disregard all of the world building that we've done up until this point. Right, but you're supposed to play that one with people who are new to the world of darkness because... Well, because if you didn't, then they would understand how dumb it is. Well, they would understand how. Dumb it's like it's like playing as a, a a clone when you've played as the computer. You understand just how stupid and arbitrary everything is. So yeah, of course. I was gonna go playing a clone once you've played Palpatine, but okay. Uh, no, like, you would be surprised how many rules in that game are just, it's at this point where the computer does X, Y, and Z. Any reasoning? Because we said so. <laughs> Roll a die if it makes you feel better. <laughs> Kill a player if you like. Like, it, it, it's... <laughs> it's... It's really dumb, and it's difficult to go back to, you know, playing the game once you understand that the game is playing you. And in that vein, it's difficult to unknow established lore when the game is going to constantly break it for its own amusement. It's... It's not... It's not an interesting world to me. It seems like somebody was like, okay, but what if all of these monsters were different? Different in an interesting way? No, just different. Different in a unique way? If different for the sake of different means unique. It's like werewolves are one-man armies, all right? Vampires are eldritch demon monsters. Powerful ones? No. Okay. Reasons for any of this? No. Mm. Hello, Lucy. There's also the, um, the fairy one. It's making me sound ri The fairy one. Yeah. We're taking the game world, which is already mocked relentlessly for how weird and kind of gay it is and adding fairies I'm so pretty oh so pretty yes do they not know how bad of an idea this is or are they doing it no actually I know the answer to that they know exactly how bad of an idea it is they just don't care that one's the one about growing up 
Comrade, you can assign meaning wherever you want. No, 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 like the, um, the werewolf one's actually about religion. I don't want to know what the creators of Vampire the Masquerade think about religion, because it's not something intelligent. I would rather listen to what Immanuel Kant has to say about morality. Which would be just as wishy-washy in the end, if you took it to its final point of destination, as this uh, game. Uh, Immanuel Kant's whole shtick was, morality's really easy if you just, you know, sequester yourself in a room for a few years and think about it. Right, but different people will come to different conclusions. Not according to Kant. Yeah, well, Kant was an idiot. <laughs> My point. It's like, I'm sorry, have the you, Germans... Have you not been listening to me? <laughs> they had the Great Depression, which lasted for several years, and everybody was just kind of concerned with their own country and its own economy. So in a way, all the countries were kind of separated in different rooms thinking about their morality. And most of the rest of the world went, you know, we should really take care of people, bread lines, things. Germany's like, yeah, bread lines, but also we should kill a lot of people and take over the world. But also, the Jews. <laughs> it's also time to let our anti-Semitism reach its highest peak. Like, like that, that, that alone proves that even with different groups of people cut off from each other for a long time, they will come out with different... And I, I'm not really arguing against you, just pointing out that they will come out with different ideas of what's right. I'm more yelling at the world than arguing with you. I'm not... Listen, I didn't say that I, I was I would rather read Kant because I think Kant was an intelligent man. I said that because these writers are worse. <laughs> it's kind of like saying I'd It's like get it's like saying I'd rather lose my left arm than my right arm. I don't particularly endeavor to do either. But if I had to lose one... <laughs> but would you lose access to hand-eye coordination with eye dominance? Or would you lose handedness with writing? What? So a lot of people are like myself. I write left-handed, but I'm right-eye dominant. So anything that requires hand-eye coordination, I have to use my right hand. If I drive with one eye closed, it had better be my left eye because the right eye will keep me on course and the left eye will put me off slightly. So, would you choose to lose the hand-eye coordination of having the same hand with the eye dominance or would you choose to lose the hand that is handedness, that is the hand you write with? I, I'm fortunate enough that both of those are the same arm. Ah. I would take losing the left hand mostly because if I get to a point where I'm comfortable around guns again, I definitely want to shoot them because black powder burning is probably one of the greatest scents ever. And you that would require my right hand. You know what we need to make? We need to make a um, machine. A what? A what? Level machine. Yeah, I'd like to do that, but like... Oh, I heard it's World of Shame. Bamboo. I, I heard World of Shame, and then I had Roll of Shame. A, I have a mushroom room now. If, if y'all could get me bamboo, like, at all, I could get this thing off it's the ground. I've been hunting for, for a long time. What do you think we're going to be able to accomplish? I don't freaking... I don't have a question. Okay, so that's all that I need. Do Don't bamboo. just kill the wandering trader when you see him, because sometimes he is carrying it. Like a gun? No, the bamboo. Oh. What? What are you? What are you on about? You said he was carrying. I said he's carrying it. I t it. Like the clown? No, he's carrying it. He's carrying the bamboo. He's carrying it. I think your southerner's coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <sighs> Stop making me up play it. He's a Yankee boy. 
I tell you what, I'm gonna come down there and slap you silly. I'm gonna punch you up in the sky higher than a Georgia pine anyway. <laughs> Never heard that one before. As much as Dream Thief would uh, hate to admit it, he is a yank. One that hated Marilyn for most of my life. But that's Marilyn. I hated the North. Always wanted to leave. I never intended to stay. No it's matter like what why, profession which I was is in. Why you're in, you know, West Virginia. Southern West Virginia. There is a difference because there is a part of West Virginia that commutes to D.C. I mean, my sister has a, a sign in her house that yeah. says, I wasn't born in the South, but I got here as fast as I could. <laughs> you, That's uh, pretty true. You didn't go to the South, though, Dream Thief. You're in West Virginia. You know, I would like the to point state out that left the South to become Yanks. <laughs> the North. <laughs> the one, that is a big show of independence, for one. For two. I am below the Mason Dixon line and always have been. They still voluntarily became Yanks. The only reason Maryland didn't fight with the South is because, amongst other rather illegal acts that Abraham Lincoln participated in early on, uh, includes the, banning uh, the Maryland legislature from holding the vote. The views of Dream Thief do not necessarily reflect the views of this channel. Great oh, vote. Mushroom. What does it drop? Yeah. No, uh, no, meat, no. mushroom, and sadness. No leather? I think it drops leather. Oh. Well. Kill them over here, will they'll respawn um, the ones you have. The... But I'm breeding them like normal cows. Can you imagine them? having to give birth to a cow that also has permanently attached mushrooms on it? <laughs> I mean... They don't have they the don't mushrooms when they're babies. Yes, they are, they are, they are only red. Oh, okay. And if they get struck by lightning, they turn brown. Did you know this? What do you mean brown? And they turn uh, brown. We're back. And Chad they become them. brown mushrooms? No, they become brown mushrooms. Okay. How do I strike you with lightning? Uh, channeling in a rainstorm, but that'll probably just kill it. Just wait till we have lightning rods. Imagine having a lightning rod hooked up to redstone uh, and then have that redstone be on the entire floor that mushrooms are standing on. Carry that current into the mushroom and turn them into a brown shroom. Okay, but then the next time that that happens, it's just going to turn them back. Right, so you have access to both all of the time. Well, not all the time, but... Or you have two rooms. Well, one what, room has brown, is, one room has red, and they switch back other and than forth. Aesthetics, what is the difference? Um, aesthetics. Ah. Yeah, really, it's aesthetics because the brown mushroom here, uh, or the stew is the mushroom stew is pink. So I'm guessing that would be uh, a blending of the two. Mushroom stew. I see another trident in the hands of an enemy. And it dropped. What? How much health does it have? Where is it? Oh, okay, there it is. Where are you, Jub? There you are. Um, sheep pen. Yes, hello. I don't know why, but I really wanted to wool. say she shack instead. Uh, I need to... I feel much shame, but that my brain was immediately like, he's going to say she shack. I'm oh. going to put a saddle on the, uh, the skeleton horse. Okay. I don't know if that's a good idea, but... Uh, Why is that a bad idea? Don't they blow up occasionally? No. Only if they're struck by lightning. And if you claimed it as your own, then I don't think it would spawn it. Ah, uh, the pink waters. I need gravel. 
I need concrete making gravel. Also need a silk touch pit. T blah, 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 blah. Silk touch pickaxe to start harvesting ice here. So I can make a faster route between the village and my island in the sun. <laughs> what? <laughs> don't I don't know me. It, 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 it would take too long to explain. Actually, no, it wouldn't. Uh, so, uh, y'all remember that SpongeBob SquarePants episode where they're like blowing bubbles? No. Nope. Oh my gosh! Okay. I was forbidden so, from watching SpongeBob by my father, and we didn't have reception anyway. Oh, that's sad. So basically, there's this episode where SpongeBob and Patrick are blowing bubbles, but like. Because of magic shenanigans, they're magic bubbles. And the bubbles can take on any form that they want. Like giant elephants and uh, different animals and such. And they can move and make noises and whatnot. And yeah. uh, SpongeBob sets up a, uh, a bubble blowing stand. It's like a lemonade stand, but like for 25 cents you can blow a bubble. Mm. Which, I think that if they did that at University A, they would raise like a thousand dollars instantly. Ragtag the Skelly Boy, I'm going to hurt you. Um, you named the horse Ragtag the Skelly Boy. Did he or did uh, Home Life Gaming do that? No, I did I'm, that. I did that. Yeah. I did that. Also, Home Life, if he wants me to call him Obscure Song Reference, he's going to need to actually change that gamer tag. <laughs> also, you can't put saddles on skeleton horses. Interesting. It's automatically obedient. Hmm. Maybe because it's already dead inside. Just like me. Anyway, so SpongeBob oh. sets up that bubble blowing stand, right? And no. Squidward's like, this is, this is really dumb. Who would pay money to blow bubbles? And then, you know, Patrick shows up. And Patrick would pay money to blow bubbles. So, you know... Spongebob is taking his friends to the cleaners for the heck of it. Eh, no, Spongebob's taking Squidward to the cleaners for the heck of it. But that comes in a minute. So, you know... Patrick blows a bubble, and Spongebob's like, hey, that's really nice, Patrick. Uh, why don't you try it like this? And he blows a bubble, and it turns into, like, this giant elephant with, like, working legs and such. And Squidward's just looking at it like, how on earth did you defy physics and reality to do this? And then the bubble pops, and Squidward's like, there's gotta be something about this, you know, bubble soap or whatever that they're using. So he tries and he he can't even blow a bubble. And so you know the whole episode is just SpongeBob and Patrick trying to teach him this special bubble blowing technique. Well, first you stand on one foot, you spin around, stop, double take 3 times. Then pelvic thrust and he yeets himself like 40 feet to the left. He goes, stop on your right foot, don't forget it. And then some other shenanigans, and then he blows a bubble, and it's, you know, once again, a fully functioning animal. And Squidward's like, I don't need to do that. And he, he tries, and he fails. And then he, mockingly, he does, and then he screams into the thing, and it creates this gigantic bubble around him that just picks him up and flies away with him. Oh, okay. And the video that I was watching was the different... So because I need it. Okay. He needs it now. I Villager breeder. Yes. 
He's admitting to his crimes. Arrest him, officer. Listen, it's it's not. It's not. Officer, arrest him. Hey, arrest hey, him, hey, officer. Hey, it's not eugenics. Hey, librarian. It's not my election. Arrest that him. Jump jumps about to commit crimes against huh. humanity on you. Uh, yeah, but villagers know. aren't humanity. I, I just want you to know. It's okay. It's okay. Uh, villagers aren't human. So says you. I mean, there's, I have, there's, a, there, there's a joke that I could make, but that would definitely get us kicked off YouTube. Uh, MatPat seems to disagree with you. I mean, apparently we're already popular enough to get a copyright strike, so... <laughs> Right? Like, like, who found us and did that? Who? Uh, apparently, whoever owns the rights to piece of music from Microsoft. How bored do you have to be to go after it? It's an algorithm. Oh, I guess they are ins inserting more AI these days into the system. Well, I wanted to show somebody my moose. I am actively deployed at the moment. Uh, but I guess it's just it's about an hour until the end of the stream. I finished um, everything I wanted to accomplish. Oh, I see. I, I see pillagers, but if I start, they're right by the village. And if I start a raid, I have only a wooden sword. I think a wooden sword, a tiny bit of an iron sword, and a tiny bit of a stone sword. It will not end well. Let the golem the, take care of it. The village will just be destroyed. Just be nothing left but burnt up houses. Probably best to just let the golem take care of that particular <laughs> scout. Yeah. Go on back to the shroom. Ow. Speaking of the shroom, ow, that's where I'm headed right now to do an end of end of episode report on where everyone's got to. We still have 50, 56 minutes. Yeah, and I'm probably going to cut it half an hour short on the YouTube side. That's fine. So that there's always, well, not always, but there's usually going to be, like, some of it for Twitch exclusive. So that people have a reason to seek you out. The after party. The after party, which I'm going to mostly spend mining. <laughs> Like, welcome to the mining that happens off stream on stream. <laughs> welcome to the off screen mining on screen. I'm just trying to finish this house, which was my main goal this stream. I mean, I'm. I'm just trying to get the villager breeder up and running. And the thing that I need, like, right now is... I need lots of beds, and I need... Zombie villagers. I need you... Like the flower needs the rain. You know I need you. What's the, uh, what's the chords for the... 3306 minus 343. Are there of you zombie villagers? Are you a villager zombie? Yes, oops. I actually have to leave the island to find sand that I can make concrete with. That's not underwater. Oof. That's what we refer to in the business as an oof. But not a big oof. Not a big oof, no. It's just more of a medium oof. It's a manageable oof. It's the... 
It's the Bud Light of oofs. I wouldn't know. I mean, I don't either, but like... Then why go there? I don't know. <laughs> it's... <laughs> Pretty sure it's, Bud Light uh, it's uh, enough, enough to kill somebody driving under the influence. I mean, yes, but I don't drive. I love how you didn't add under the influence there. You're just like, I don't drive. I, I should not admit this on camera. I don't have a driver's license. So that's what you shouldn't admit. Okay. I mean, I shouldn't because it's really sad. <laughs> I know a fellow didn't get a driver's license till he got married. I'm nearly 21 I'm sure. and I don't have a driver's license. I'm pretty sure the decision was essentially to actually be a man by his wife. I you mean, know, that's sad. He, and I, know, he wanted his only mode of transportation to be begging his wife to take him somewhere. Yeah, that's sad. And I wouldn't say anything to his face, but I would mock him relentlessly in my head. We did. It's okay. He was mocked relentlessly when he was a kid because all of us wanted to drive. He's like, oh, I don't care. I mean, I I kind of cared, but like when I turned 16, we still lived in scenic nowhere, Ohio, and there was absolutely nowhere I wanted to go. You didn't just want to go for a drive? No, because like... I outside of, always... outside of the amazing soundtrack that went with the McQueen and Sally drive through the mountains, I I love taking that kind of drive. I thought that was my, that was my favorite part of the movie. I'm like going for a drive. Fun. I I don't know. I don't like. I can't. I can't relax when I'm somewhere that I don't... I'm not very familiar with. I can't relax. There's a lot of circumstances under which I can't relax. If I'm somewhere that I'm not familiar with, if I'm around a bunch of people, if I'm around a moderate number of people who I don't know... Uh, Are you calling me a liar? I ain't calling you a truther! <laughs> that is such an underrated show. I don't know that I ever even saw it, but that's a great quote. Uh, other notable quotes include, I do not control the speed at which lobsters die. And uh, there's an entire episode where the subplot is a... Drake, like, ate his sister's... One of his sister's cookies. Mm-hmm. And she is basically Satan incarnate. Uh-oh. Fun fact! That's 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 Carly from iCarly, just younger. Um, and named Megan. But, uh... She's like Satan incarnate, so what she does is she finds him sleeping... Spray paints his hand screen and then writes an entire fake WebMD article about a horrible, rare skin condition which will cause your hands to rot and fall off. Actually. And there are, there are two cures. One is a series of painful injections lasting at least six months. And the other is soaking your hands in lizard pee for, like, three hours. So, he goes and buys some lizards. And then does that. So he didn't notice it wasn't spreading during that time of gathering that much urine? What you have to understand is that this is the same man that put up the wall to the treehouse without cutting out the door with the power saw. You can so do that. So he locked himself and his brother into the box. Oh. There was no door. 
Yeah, you can cut the door after the fact if you're outside of it. The saw was outside of it. They were not. <laughs> Sometimes. It was great. What did you do? I put up the wall. You were supposed to cut the door out with the power saw. I'm gonna. Well, then go get it. I will. Wait, he looks at the wall, and he's like, I see the problem now. <laughs> And Josh has just stood there. It's like, oh, do ya? I don't even remember how they got out of that. Uh, point being, these two are not particularly intelligent. Oh, yeah. But, uh, you know, that was... Well, now I'm over here on the Mooshroom Island without a boat. It was a good, was was a good show. Because I'm smart. I'm very smart. There was uh, another whole episode, or possibly group of episodes, dedicated to a game system which was supposed to come along and take over the place of the GameCube. Nothing and the console was spherical. Alright, let's boot scoot right back the way over to the Mushroom Island. It was marketed entirely off of the fact that it's the game sphere. I mean, it's not funny. It's not. I am. But that's the point. <laughs> oh, you you know what? Uh, no, that's that's how a completely unrelated segue. I don't understand how you got here without a boat. I um, I had a boat. Uh, determination. I had a boat, and then a creeper happened, and I didn't have a boat. Ah. Almost already here. I am afraid you'll be relegated to an acacia boat, sir. I already got myself an acacia boat. <laughs> you know what I kind of want to do? Jesus stuff. Anyway, I... we, did a, we did a small check out of Dream Thief's uh, work for this episode. Uh, let's Beware. Go catch I return. Up with, uh, jump Jump Jump. That's sad, because you're going to miss the house being completed in the There's next... no reason wait, to wait, come wait. catch up with Jub Jub over here. Wait, you said the house is going to be completed? In the next 15 minutes or so, yeah. I just got to lay out the concrete and get it wet and then put the roof on. I'll come back over here and help. Anyway, what I kind of want to do is I kind of want to invent a meme speedrun category for a game that has no business having a speedrun. So you want to be Jaden Animations, then? What did Jaden speedrun that shouldn't have a speedrun? Uh, Mama's like cooking, cooking or something, something like that? that? Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Okay. Yeah, but like I, I was thinking going, like, harder into the meme. So, just all the way up to the, the thing out here? No, it's going to be mod like a modern house. Well... It, what do you mean, like, a modern house? It's going to be a flat roof that overhangs to a degree. No, no, I meant... Do you want the concrete just laid up like three high here? No, that's the logs. No. What do you want? You done? don't. You don't understand. What, oh, hey. what do you want done with it? When, what are you doing? Okay. So the concrete is going to lay at the same level the top of the wood is. So if you were standing on top of it, you would just see the top like it had been cut off there. Then this and this are all glass panes. Well, do you have the glass? Uh, I haven't cut it into panes yet, but it's over there in the smaller chest, I think. Well, I'll cut it, cut it into panes for you. And if you cut it into panes and then lay it out, you're not going to have to... Uh... You can just lay down your concrete and then pour water on top of it. Yeah, the whole roof is concrete, though. Okay. I mean, 
Trust me, I am a modernist architect. I do nothing wrong. Trust me. Trust me, I understand what is happening. Moo Moo, get out of way. I'm gonna need a bigger pickaxe. Uh, I think you need to stop using the word Moo Moo. Anyway. <laughs> Education time with... Professor uh, Comrade. Would you we'll like back to learn? Oh, keep them. Keep them. Not a cow, not a moo moo. Also, I have ruined it. What? You ruined it. I ruined it. You hey, uh, our our librarian uh escaped. Yes, villager unattended eventually walk away, especially when chunk unloaded. Chunk not unloaded. I'm currently in chunk. Was it Have unloaded been. at a certain point? Have been in chunk for entire time. Is above the door going to be uh, glass as well? Oh, above the two spots above the door. Um, oh, those, I need to put cobblestone there. The cobblestone's supposed to go to the roof partly, but not wholly. I also need two more pieces of cobblestone. So where you're standing is cobble. So this is cobblestone. And then this is also cobblestone. And then above the doors are full blocks of glass. Because otherwise the pane will sit to one side of the door and it looks wrong. And it lets uh, air in and stuff, you know? Because I'd be thinking about this like it's real life ish. Kind of. I made you an aquarium. Say thank you. Stop falling in the water, concrete. Nobody likes that. Everyone dislikes that. Pretty sure everybody's going to dislike these Russian accents, too. You know what game I really want to make a meme speedrun for? That Russian game the Grumps played? No. Besides, Soviet Jump Game is very difficult. And Soviet Jump Game was made by the game Grumps. And probably has a decent speedrunning community. How do you know? You can't speedrun a competitive. You can't speedrun a competitive game. Yes, you can. It's like saying. Oh, uh, well, this is what I was unafraid it's like of. Saying you can speed run uh, player unknown's battle royale. The mycelium. I mean, technically, you can. Mycelium blocks. It's heavily discouraged, but you can. Mycelium does not regrow on top of dirt blocks, and in one part, Why one strip of concrete was laid on. Mycelium, and only two pieces of it survived. What do you mean and mycelium no. doesn't regrow? It doesn't. It's not like grass. It's the same thing as with the Tiagra biome. The stuff, the, like, the podzol that's around the trees, it does not regrow. Interesting. Are you sure? Yep. I have a map where I've been waiting for podzol to spread onto the ground around it. For uh, probably 15 hours of playtime. Are you sure that's not the coarse dirt, which also naturally spawns in the Tiger? It could. Well, that's the same dirt that was already there, though. Oh, I found the mines. How nice. Or at least I found a mine. Way down deep in the treadwell mine. I don't know. It has stuff and. Fantasy Alaska. Singer band group gonna be like, man, you. What is? My solemn. It's not regrowing. Oh, it is. Never mind. <laughs> Shut up. Anyway, <laughs> I it think it would be absolutely. 
I think it would be absolutely hilarious to have a speed running category for Doki Doki Literature Club. Do you know how long the fastest speed run would still have to be? Uh, uh very short, depending on the category. My solemn cannot be tilled with a hoe to make a farm. Mm. Like if you if yeah, you stretch a lot of stuff. If you stretch the definition of any percent to mean reaching an ending state by any means possible, technically just deleting a bunch of the characters and then starting the game up would would automatically put you in an end state, so you would win. Okay, but they would obviously make it so that you couldn't just do that and count it. Well, yeah, I mean, like... That's why I preface this by saying meme speedrun. I want to make a speedrun for a game that's literally just reading text. Yeah, I'm going to have to go find a lot more flowers. And possibly... I was I was trying to figure out like what an actual end state would be. It's like what if what I'm if you had to reach the end of the game with all of the uh, the pictures unlocked? I think the end state of Doki Doki Literature Club uh, is um, so getting all the pictures unlocked would be. Um, a hundred percenting it, right? Well, not exactly, because there's bits after that. If you read that, would be required to to one hundred percent it. Yeah, but there's right. bits after. So that. I would say that the end state of Doki Doki Literature Club is reaching the point where Monica sings. Um, uh, well, why did I forget the name of the song? Um, <laughs> for reality. Yes, for reality. I think if you could get Monica to sing the reality to you. Reach the end state of Doki Doki. Yeah, but like, what about the entire second week, though? What do you mean the, entire second week? the second week. What do you mean? What do I mean? The weaker Muslims totally get uh no, uh, removed. Uh, what do you mean by the second week? Is that like a mod or something? No, there's a second week! Like... <laughs> I, I... Okay, so, like... The... It's the, the good ending. Or the best ending, I guess. I don't... Don't you I always don't... end up in the middle of space with Monica in a classroom? Okay, but like, after that, though... There's a bit after that where, like, if you, if you, if you go through it normally, you know, Sayori has her little flip out thing, and then, then the game just completely ends and deletes itself. Right. But if you do other specific things, uh, she will thank you for going out of your way to make everyone else in the club happy, and then she will shut down the game. Right. Yeah, that's the good ending. Right. Which involves the entire second week. <laughs> yeah, so the creepers, they can't spawn on the mycelium, or mycelium, whatever. But uh, I guess they can spawn on the island if I'm laying all this cobblestone. No, it's one of the great things about the Shroom Islands is that they don't spawn mobs on the uh, mycelium. Why else do you think I'm building a big house here? All right. I don't know. You, you like the show aesthetic? Off to me what you done? Did. Um, I haven't done did anything impressive. You can come look at it, but it's not interesting because well, I haven't I'm found any villagers. I'm punching a zombie to death. So, is it a zombie villager? No, but a barbarian. I am. I I built this. Ah, 
a cube. Cubes have corners, comrade. A fancy cube. Time for science time with Professor Jub Jub. A fancy cube. This is where all the villagers are going to be. Why are some of the beds green? Because I stole them from an abandoned village. Probably the same village where these uh, uh, villagers came from. Get out of the villagers' beds, comrade. He wants to see it in daylight. It's inside. There is no... Um, like... um, 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 apparently he thought I looked at him wrong. Comrade, can Get you in stop... The water. Get in the water! I'm killing the Endermen! Punching a drown. Look at me. I am in charge now. I oh, I for kind of forgot home life was actually on. Look at me. Somebody doesn't want to join our chat. I am the Giga Chat now. Are you are you gonna <laughs> or just overpriced prices for your mending books? Oh. <laughs> I feel like you're bad. You didn't take that's any my, damage. <laughs> that's my armor you're breaking. <laughs> remember yeah, remember when I he took half of my durability off with snowballs once? <laughs> oh, remember man. when Comrade didn't understand the game mechanics? <laughs> Those were simpler, oh. safer times. I still I remember. remember built like a hundred snowmen and then wondered why um, they were moving. Meanwhile, Home Life Gaming's not here. Um, we need to go look at what he's done. He's um, on. He's not. He's on, but I don't know where he is. is. He's Plus, probably... I'm pretty a... sure he's just been mining anyway. Yeah. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and call this here for uh, our viewers on YouTube. Um... There is going to be more on Twitch. Uh, so catch us on Twitch. How about that? Um. <laughs> you didn't have it served to you tonight, so you served it to yourself. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Uh, <laughs> all right. So we're going to be signing off. Remember that happiness is mandatory. Bye. Bye.